I've been calling Strixhaven Diet Commander Legends, and I'm pretty sure that's true. Strixhaven has brought us a host of new cards, and there are some excellent new EDH toys that we get to play with. Let's take a stroll through the college grounds and look at the top 10 EDH cards from Strixhaven, and the video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel or Magic. I am Joel. We're going to talk about Strixhaven EDH cards. The top 10 in mine and Jake's opinion. But before we do, if you would, go down there, hit that like button if you like the video. By the end of it, hit that dislike button. If you don't, I'll be your campus tour guide for this one. Jake is off this week. Let's take a look at these cards. Strixhaven has brought us some excellent new stuff. And I want to start with this brand new blue card, Archmage Emeritus. Two blue, two other for a 2-2 human wizard. Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. This is a ridiculous engine. This is Enchantress, but for casting instants and sorceries. As if blue decks weren't already annoying enough. Hashtag ban basic islands. I just think that this card is going to get nutty. It is easily killed. It's a 2-2 creature and not an enchantment, which would make this just a busted card in my opinion. But I still think it is very, very good. And having that amount of card draw just for casting or copying instants or sorceries, not even just once per turn, but every single time you do it, getting to replace that card from the top of your deck, that's ridiculous. And I think Archmage Emeritus is going to be bomb in EDH. Next up is Blade Historian. You've got hybrid red, white times four up there for a two, three human cleric. And it just simply says attacking creatures you control have double strike. This is now the cheapest version of this effect in EDH. For CMC to give attacking creatures you control double strike is the lowest that you can get that for now. This is a brand new card that is replacing Berserker's Onslaught, which is 5 CMC, Rage Reflection, which is 6 CMC. Granted, this is just a creature and it's got three toughness. Giving your creatures this ability, all of your attacking creatures double strike for four mana. This is a ridiculous card and I can't wait to put this in some aggressive decks. Next up, we've got Blot Out the Sky. One black, one white, and X for a sorcery that says create X tapped 2-1 white and black inkling creature tokens with flying. Two ones with flying is what you're creating with X. And if X is six or more, destroy all non-creature, non-land permanents, enchantments, artifacts. They're all getting hosed by this. You're gonna fill up the sky with two one flyers, which is nuts that they're not just one ones to me. I just, I think that having two power on these creatures is crazy. But you've got X two one creature tokens with flying. And if you're creating six or more, which is 12 power in the air, you're also getting to destroy all non-creature, non-land permanents. You're going to ace your stuff as well with this, but I think that because you're building around this and you've got it in your deck, you know what's coming. And before you wipe the board of everything except for lands and creatures and put a huge amount of power in the air, you can plan for it. And you can make sure that your stuff is not hit the battlefield yet or you don't mind losing the stuff that gets aced. Really love Blot Out the Sky. I think that this is one of my favorite silver quill spells we've seen so far. Body of Research, this one caused some splashes when it landed. Three green, three blue, six CMC for a sorcery. Create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is the number of cards in your library. This is nuts. This is something that you combine with fling and just kill an opponent outright. Have anything that's going to let you have this creature attack all three opponents at once, you can just win right there. You want to figure out a way to give this creature trample, obviously. I also think that this is a great teamer spell, which makes it a little restrictive. It is green, 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 blue, blue, blue. So playing this in decks that aren't just green and blue may pose to be a problem. However, I think that if you can pull it off, it's totally worth it because you're going to get this ridiculous creature. Oh, this is my 65, 65 green and blue fractal creature token. 
I'm going to equip it with Loxodon Warhammer. Any responses? <laughs> That's just a nuts thing to me. Now, on the other side of this, you are just creating a creature token and creature tokens are easily dealt with. I still think this is just a bomb spell that I cannot wait to either play or have played against me because I think I'm going to giggle a lot when I see it fire off. Crackle with Power is a card that's not going to have me giggling because this is ridiculous. Two red XXX for a sorcery speed red spell. Crackle with Power deals five times X damage to each of up to X targets. So for five mana, we're dealing five damage to one target. For eight mana, two, 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 and then two more. So two, four, six, eight. We're going to deal 10 damage up to two targets this spell grows so quickly and deals so much damage i really want to build this in some like big mana treasure token creating deck and just start firing off so wildly it grows so quickly for three more mana you've got x equals three you're dealing 15 damage to up to three targets this is the kind of spell it's kind of like exsanguinate in red this is the kind of spell that can win you the game obviously it's not as powerful because you do have to pay x three times but still crackle with power deals so much damage it's great having just this straight up pump the mana in deal a ton of damage to multiple targets i'm a huge fan of crackle with power as the resident red mage on the channel culling ritual is a green a black and two other for a sorcery speed destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less add a black or a green for each permanent destroyed this way i love what this does to token decks and what it does is completely handicap them i love having a spell that comes in to that person playing smothering tithe and says um, do you want to use all your tro treasure tokens right now, or can I just turn them into mana on my side? This is what I want to do with Culling Ritual. I want to punish Smothering Tithe players, treasure token players. It also aces all the little elves and goblins that might be running around as well. It is interesting to note that if you're playing a deck like Lathril and you're creating a bunch of elf tokens, you could use this as some sort of ramp spell. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less, we're acing all of your elf tokens. We're turning those into mana. Then we can pump that mana into something else like an exsanguinate. As a wipe spell, it's a little bit more narrow than you'd want with something just to guarantee wipe everything off the board. But if we can hit at least four permanents, it pays for itself and it becomes sort of a free cast, which is excellent. Devastating Mastery is up next. We got a white spell on the list, everybody. We did it. This one is a sorcery that is white, 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 two. And you can pay four to white to other rather than pay the spell's mana cost if four cost was paid an opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents they control and returns them to their owner's hand destroy all non-land permanents this could be a political board wipe all non-land permanents were not just killing creatures for four white white two that's great that's wrath of god but hits all non-land permanents plus we can have a little political brokerage at the table and we can say, all right, an opponent, you're going to be the opponent. I'm going to pay four and I'm going to let you save those two permanents, but you owe me in the future because I could have just wiped everything. Devastating Mastery, I think, is going to be a staple of white removal, big board wipe decks. And I do like how it adds a little political aspect to the game if you want to cast it for a cheaper cost. Double Major's nuts. I don't know why Simic gets all the toys, but Simic got even more toys in this set. Double Major says, copy target creature spell you control, except it isn't legendary. If the spell is legendary, a copy of a creature spell becomes a token. One blue, one green, instant speed. You cast your commander. You want to pay two and have two commanders? Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely ridiculous. Any commander with stacking effects is just going to get out of hand. This is the kind of card that goes in a Sakashima deck and just makes everybody go, wait, hang on. What are you doing? Wait, what's going on? You've got three now? You've got four now? What's going on? Are you double majoring over there? I really like this instant speed Simic spell. Oh, I guess it's called Quandrix. It's not Simic anymore. I've got to get used to saying the colleges. After double major, we've got a green sorcery that I want to take a look at, and that's ecological appreciation. This is sort of like tooth and nail, and I love it. One green, two other, and X. 
Search your library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names that each have mana value X or less and reveal them. An opponent chooses two of those cards, shuffle the chosen cards into your library and put the rest right onto the battlefield, then exile ecological appreciation. I'm not sure exactly what are the best four cards that you can go and grab in EDH to guarantee that you win the game right then and there, but this is the kind of spell that I wanna cast and go win the game right then and there. Let me know down in the comments which four creatures you're gonna go pull out of your deck with ecological appreciation and how you're gonna win the game with them right there. I know that there's gotta be some damned if you do, damned if you don't combination of these four creatures, but having a pseudo tooth and nail, having a second sort of tooth and nail in your deck that goes and does this is absolutely bonkers and just another fantastic green mythic to add to the EDH lists, which we've got one right here to wrap out the video. Green, 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 black, 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 one. Seven mana, instant speed, harness infinity. Exchange your hand in graveyard, exile harness infinity. It's Seb McKinnon art. It's longevity for your EDH deck. Exchanging your hand in graveyard in the right deck when you have just been loading your graveyard up and the fact that it's instant speed. You can respond to somebody trying to ruin all of your hard work and exile your graveyard. You can respond and say, whoopsie doopsie. Here, I'll take my graveyard. You can have my hand. Goodbye. And thanks for all the memories. Harness Infinity, I think, is a fantastic spell. This is Wither Bloom. Look at you. I didn't say Golgari that time. This Wither Bloom instant, I think, really deserves a place in the top 10 EDH cards of Strixhaven, of which we've come to the end of the list. Let's close the book. Thanks so much for watching. We picked our favorite 10. Jake and I did work on this video together, even though he's on vacation this week. Let me know down below which ones we left off. We are going to be covering the new commanders from the Strixhaven set and the commanders from Commander 2021. We want to talk about some of our favorites from the set that weren't in the Commander 2021 product, and we'll talk about those in a future video. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit that dislike button if you don't. Other than that, I'm tapped out, and I'll catch you later.